Once the injectability columns are ready, we can run the injectable test using the injectability apparatus. This apparatus consists of a pressure vessel in which a container filled with grout will be placed. The pressure vessel is connected to compressed air supply and the pressure inside the vessel is adjusted by a pressure regulation valve and a gauge. When the pressure is applied, the grout first moves up through the tube in the vessel and then into the flexible joining tube. When the ball valve is open, the grout will reach the bottom of the column and begin to fill the column. Once the column is filled, the grout will flow through the overflow tube and fill the graduated cylinder. You will also need a tie to hold the two perforated stoppers attached to the column in place during testing. The metal tie used at the GCI consists of two aluminum rods, two U-shaped aluminum plates screwed to one end of each rod, and a short aluminum tube connecting the rods. The aluminum tube has two drilled holes to insert two small butterfly screws to secure the position of the rods. In addition, you will need a cylindrical container, approximately 80 millimeter in diameter and 175 millimeter high, which will contain 500 grams of grout. A column filled with granular material, stopwatch, a balance occurred to within 0.1 grams, a thermometer occurred to within one Celsius degrees, and a relative humidity meter occurred to within 1%. It's important to note that all the equipment and columns are to be stored in the same environmental conditions in which the test will be run. These conditions are 21 to 25 degrees centigrade and 50 to 70% relative humidity.